So the news is Tesla. Tesla just reported a double beat on first quarter earnings, but the stock is falling right now after hours. Significantly. Now it's about 5%, so it's recovered a little bit. It was down 6%. So what does the future look like for the automaker? Joining us now is Lauren Fix, the car coach, auto industry analyst. Lauren, great to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. I like to think of this as, as they had Act 1. Act 1 for Tesla was magnificent. They mm -hmm. had this fancy car, the rich man's electric car, right. which rolled out, exceeded all expectations in terms of style. Performance, uh, consumer reports said it's the best car ever. Now it's Act Two, and Act Two is creating a middle class electric car that sells. Nissan did terribly with the Leaf, right. GM did terribly with the Volt. Is it possible that Tesla could do well with its middle class car, its middle class electric well, car? Well, they have a lot of competition once they hit that middle class car. Right now, BMW is delivering i3s to dealers. The first one was delivered last week, and they've already got sales that are people lined up. So there is a lot more competition because there's other manufacturers that make EV vehicles. Okay, so let's look though at what Tesla's saying. Mm -hmm. They say that they will ramp up production and that they will hit 35,000 in sales of the Model S. This year, first of all, do you believe that? Do you think I think that's a, a bit hefty when you're looking at last year's sales at 22,477. But they beat last year, so maybe right. they've gotten better at this at this point. Right, but the price is still the same, and there's only a certain amount of vehicles to be sold. When you look at the total sales for 2013 at 15.7 million cars, and it's only 3% of that are electric vehicles. 3%, that's not a lot. So if he's going to take up a chunk of all of that 3%, who's to say it's going to grow to 5%? We don't know that. Right now, if you look at electric vehicles in total, they're selling in California because they have to. But as far as other, everyone's making an electric vehicle in order to meet CAFE standards. The government's forcing it. The California state is demanding it. I just don't think there's that much sales in total. Maybe once he gets into China, you're going to see a huge growth. We're Let's talking talk about China three to four years. This is a huge market in China. Yes. Everybody knows how big it is, even though the the middle class is a small part of, of the overall population. Still, that's like mm -hmm. 200, 300 million people. Right. However, China is slowing down. Uh, are, are his expectations based on a faster growth for China? I think he's hoping for that. I mean, they have a lot more cash, it seems, to spend on cars. Buick is doing well. Other vehicles are doing well. They have a lot of buzz going on. He opened up a retail outlet. People are just jamming to get there and see the vehicles. But remember, once you go into the Chinese market, suddenly you're going to have patent infringement issues. His quote right here is, we plan to expand in China as fast as possible because we believe the country could be one of the largest markets in just a few years. I think that's true. I think he believes that his belief is true. It is a huge marketplace. They're outpacing us in many areas. There's a lot of cash flow buying cars like crazy, but you're talking about three to four years before they can actually do their first delivery. So will there still be interest? What kind of competition is going to be there? We already know that there's competition and the Chinese are not, not afraid to create their own competition. You, you talked about the carbon credits and other government incentives. How much of his business model still depends on government subsidies of some kinds, whether carbon credits or, or refunds for electric cars. He is getting a bigger chunk than GM and, and uh, Nissan is, so he's using that to his advantage and he sells it to those car manufacturers that didn't need it. That was his very intelligent way of paying off the government. So now he's in a position where he is getting a break, but in China he's not going to get that kind of break. There's no way they're going to give it to him. He's going to be head to head with other manufacturers. And right now you've got other manufacturers like BMW delivering i8s, and I'm going to be driving one at the end of the month. So I'll get a real good feel for Tesla versus the BMW. I will. Know. Tesla, it's hard to beat that, that top model Tesla. Though, I know. With it? a BMW, you got a problem. You go to any BMW dealer, and they'll give you a 7 that's, Series to drive. That's what a are you whole other issue, the dealership issue. We'll talk that about that next time. That is a huge issue, time. yes. Thank you very much, Lauren. Good Thank stuff. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, we